Hello, welcome to today's immigration tidbit. You qualify for an EB2, which again is a master's degree level position, and you want to know if you should do a national interest waiver, okay, or NIW. And the reality is that a national interest waiver uh, can be done. Uh, it is somewhat difficult to get approved. There are a lot of laws that go into whether or not it will be approved. Um, but the bottom line is that you have to show that it is in the national interest to waive the PERM uh, procedure, which normal people, normal employees, have to go through. Okay, Now, a PERM is the first step in any uh, typical employment-based petition for the green card. And the bottom line is that the perm shows why you would, uh, why there's no available U.S. workers for the position. That, that's what the perm shows. So you've got a pretty heavy burden when you're doing a national interest waiver because you're arguing to immigration why it is in the national interest uh, to forego the whole perm procedure. So what it's really saying is it doesn't matter if there's, you know, 10,000 Americans that qualify for this position because it's in the national interest for you, the employee, the future employee, to be able to work in this position and therefore the perm is waived. Now, the reality is, is it takes a while to prepare the national interest waiver. It takes a while to uh, submit it and get the decision. And all the while, if you didn't do the national interest waiver and did the perm, and the perm went through fairly smoothly, um, you're not saving really a lot of time by doing the national interest waiver uh, unless you have such a strong case, which if you have such a strong case, you might want to go for the EB1A, which is the Extraordinary Ability Alien Petition. So I'm not dissuading you from doing the National Interest Waiver. It's just I've, I've had so many clients that came in and all they heard about was this National Interest Waiver and they said, I want to do it. I, I don't think I need to do PERM. When the reality is that the timeline to do it all and the cost uh, is not really much different. Okay?